Hi, I'm Xavier and welcome to Xavier's Amazing Animals. Today we're going to be talking about the praying mantis. A praying mantis is in the phasmid family, which includes things like stick insects and grasshoppers. You may think, no, grasshoppers are closely related to crustaceans, but they are in the phasmid family. Now this girl, I think is a female, and did you know that praying mantises actually have some of the largest brains of any insect? This one, I think is a slender neck mantis. There are lots of different types. There's the brown mantis, the, the cumin mantis, I have no idea what it's called that, but it's called that. And there is the slender necked mantis. And the slender necked mantis is actually, that gets to be the biggest of the mantis species. Most of them are actually brown, but this one, most slender necks are actually brown. Cause, but I'm actually really lucky to find this green one. The praying mantis, is actually a very successful hunter when it comes to catching bugs. Their accuracy is about 80%. Now that is just amazing. Did you know that when they strike, they strike fast. And, when, and they can strike up to 0 0.25 seconds. Now that is just amazing. Now when they're threatened, they're going to do what this little one is doing. They'll keep very still, either they'll keep still and flatten their body against a green plant. But if they can't do that and the wind's blowing, they'll just do it to confuse predators by walking in a waving motion. Like, da, da, step, da, da, step. Only the females have wings. That's how I'm pretty sure that it's a female here. The males actually don't have wings. And so the males are flightless, but the females can fly around. They only fly when they want to be mating. They want to try and find a mate. Females can actually lay clusters of up to three eggs. And I mean, that's a lot for a phasmid. Usually stick insects and other phasmids are usually only one egg. I just think they're amazing in every way and they have these special mouth parts. It's not like a grasshopper, it's how they chew for the leaf. They're actually triangular, like scissors, for cutting up bugs. They have quite thick abdomens and they use them for actually, they use it actually like a bludgeon to, to batter enemies away as well as birds. Oh yeah, they can turn their heads up to 360 degrees, another interesting fact. She's just beautiful. So this slender necked mantis is amazing. If you, as you look at her, you can see the abdomen, which is at the very, very end of her body. And then you can see the wings, the ones that are overlapping on the body. And now you can see the thorax, which is actually the middle of the body. You can see the head, which is at the opposite end to the abdomen of the body. And you can see her mantis hooks, which are the things coming right out the front with barbs on them. The triangular head, at the very start of it, they have pity palps, like in the spiders, but they don't have fangs. They just have these scissor-like mouth parts. It could not do me any harm. These things are absolutely harmless. So as you look at the legs, they actually have six of them. And you're probably thinking, six I can only see four but actually on the end of the mantis hooks they have like an extra leg which you can't see at the moment because it's folds up You'll, you could see it when she walks and they can actually make a little sound which sounds like a chirping sound like <coughs> and they mostly do that at night to it or in the breeding season to attract a mate now after mating the females, the female will actually eat the male. So this girl won't be getting eaten because she's a female, but the poor ex-husband afterward will be eaten. Unfortunately, they actually eat them head first. I don't know why, but they just do. I'll save all the gruesome facts for later. Actually, I won't say them at all. <laughs> 
but this slender neck, the slender neck mantises can actually get a tiny bit bigger than this. The females are actually larger than the males, and they can. This one's only about maybe three centimeters. They can actually get to five centimeters. I'm going to return this beautiful slender neck mantis to the garden. Thank you for watching Xavier's Amazing Animals, and I'll see you on the next adventure. Oh, not on the lip. Oh, bye.